Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and today I'm going to get rid of my stripper pole. All you need to do this is a screw gun, a utility knife, a Torx T30 bit, and a, I have an adapter for the, I just have a socket, so I have an adapter, and then a screw gun, a, a screwdriver that you can put your bit in. Then you're going to need some parts. You're going to need eight of these screws, which I will put the part number down below. And you're going to need this plate. First thing you're going to do is take off the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen Torx shoulder screws from the existing plastic. Once you get the screws off, put the stripper pole up, it makes it a little easier. The whole plastic piece comes right off the top. You don't need this piece anymore either. Now, there are some painted on, there are six T30 screws around the bar. Now I've already taken this off. I've already done done. I've already done this. I'm just going back over the steps. So I've already broken these loose, and you can also see there's some primer. But these things, um, I needed to use a socket, uh, a, a ratchet, and put a lot of effort into it because these are these are snug down pretty tight from the factory. Now, I'm going to reuse these screws, and I'll show you where I'm going to reuse them. So once you get those six screws, the pole is done. So you don't need this part either. Now part of the reason I don't need a pole is I have the, the rack on the top of my truck, and I can use these poles to, to jump up. So once you, once you have that out, pop off these these nuts these I don't even know what you call them there they're like slide on nut nuts <laughs> for lack of a better term now I hit this up with primer and since I put it back on it's a little scratched up I'm gonna do this again um, but I'll tell you what the ultimate plan is in a minute here this piece of plastic that's up here has these these nubs that go on. Now you have to take these off in order for the new piece, the new piece of metal to fit in because it won't fit down. You can see here how how these things has uh, has like a, a bump out. You could grind all that out if you wanted to, or you can just cut them off. You still have the two locations that hold this piece on, so I'm okay with it. So I just cut these off. Very simple. Take your metal make sure that this lip gets under this little ridge you'll see what i'm talking about when you when you go to do it yourself line up the screw holes take your eight new screws now this is where i like to finger tighten them now i have an issue right now that I've had a pop and lock put in. I've had some mercury switches put in. I've had this 
this plastic piece taken off a bunch of times and I think over the over the number of different contractors that have been in here some of my screws are stripped out so this is where I'm going to use the new screws I'm actually going to drill and tap the holes a little bigger the screws the old screws are a much bigger diameter so I'm just going to drill these holes out bigger and use these but the idea here is to get the screws since they're self-tapping screws they will screw the grooves up and your threads will be all jacked and they won't tighten like I'm having right now luckily these two seem to be threaded well so those are the only two that aren't going to get replaced because I only have six so I get them started with my finger or you can use that's why I have the screw or you can do them with this Now I'm just hand tightening them. These, these actually snug down. The rest of them, they'll keep spinning. They just want to kind of tighten it down for now before I tap them out. I mean, these things won't even, won't even snug down, but they're not going to come out. They're just not going to get super tight until tap the other ones so the ultimate goal so this plate's going to come off and I have some rust some surface rust down here um, around the lip of the bottom of the tailgate and of the I'm not sure what this part is called but that that the there's a hinge type thing right in here that's all rusted so I'm gonna have I'm gonna take the the whole truck and I'm going to have my tailgate repainted, um, the rust fixed, repainted, that part replaced. So all of this, this area is going to get repainted. So I'm not stressed on the primer underneath of there. These four screws here from the, from the plate, I'm going to put these screws in it. And then the top part of the tailgate, I'm going to have line X'd. So this will be a separate piece line next so I can take it on and off still you don't want to line exit in place because if you ever have a problem with your lock even if you don't have any electronics in here although there is a camera in here and I think most models have a camera um, so you do have wiring so there may be a, a reason to access the inside of this area so if you're gonna do line X take this piece off line X line X and then put it back on making sure that you cover your screws these screws will stay in place and they will get line next over. Um, I will probably have these taken out and put back in after the line X. Um, I'm not sure what part they hold in, but they, they hold in something. So I just want to make sure that everything's done and easy, but that's it. Um, super easy to do. It took like, even with me standing here and talking about it, and showing everything and not just doing it it take it took less than like two or three minutes to to do i think the longest part when i first did it was was the six screws getting them because they were so torqued down otherwise i think this is a great mod my drawers did open no problem but they did rub the whole time they work much better now i can sit on the tailgate i don't have this big lump it's uncomfortable um i can kneel this thing was very uncomfortable to kneel on as you can see so this will be a much better solution for me i'm back at my tailgate again and my plan to use the old stripper pole screws to reattach the new um, cover plate um, has changed instead um, nut certs are used with stainless steel Allen hardware. So you can see the nut certs were all installed. Um, when I get this coated, 
This, this will be coated with the um, Rhino Liner or Linex. This whole top part's gonna be coated. I'll make sure that they don't coat these and they're gonna coat the plate. Let me put the plate back on and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so everything that you see that's painted black or painted blue, that's on the top part of this, I'm gonna have the Linex done. Um, now these two screws, or these two Allen bolts, um, the stainless steel hardware that they use, they are shorter than the others because the lock mechanism is right below there. Now, if you're gonna do a Linex or anything, you wanna make sure you do this panel separate from this panel. That way, if you ever have a lock issue, it's easy to take off. Trust me, I've had to cut through this Linex stuff and it's not fun. Um, again, you can focus in on this. This is a 2013 Ford Raptor, and that is the part number for this plate. It fits perfect. There was no cutting, no drilling involved, except I had to make the holes a little bigger um, in order for the little bit larger bolts to go in and the nut certs and everything. Now, I took it down to Extreme Audio in Richmond, Virginia, which is a Hour, a little over an hour past um, by my house here and they previously I had a aftermarket camera and an, and the pop and lock installed in here so they had to make sure that the wiring well, had a disconnect um, underneath the the um, spare tire there so when the when I take it to the body shop they can pull this thing off and disconnect it I've got the line X done on here you got the new bolts with the nut certs. This piece is removable, so any work needs to be done in the lock mechanism or the camera or anything like that, and then down the road, it's good to go. While I was at it, I put a new um, um, tailgate damper, I guess you want to call it. I've had it on there forever. Works great. I'm real happy with the way it came out. No more stripper pole. Nice, smooth, durable work surface for doing whatever I'm doing. Once again, this is Jeff and Jenny, and we're the Airstream Nerds. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put any comments below, and we'll see you on the next trip.